Hi guys and welcome back to Feed the Beast Infinity. This is Casual Kiwi and this episode we want to crack into making a few things. First things first, we want to finish off what we were doing last episode, which was down in our smeltery down here, we have started making some Tinker's Tools. So I've gone ahead and I've got together a bunch of molten alumite. So that there should be enough for me to make three quarters of a hammer. Now the hammer is pretty damn awesome, but it does take a lot of materials. Now, what I've made it from is alumite, which is a combination of obsidian, aluminium, and iron. So if I can find it here, made from five aluminium, two iron, and two obsidian. Now, the properties of that, it's not going to show you in this book, the properties of that are from this one, I think. Is it going to show us? It is not alumite. There we go. An uncommon alloy. It seems to be quite durable. So it has a durability of 700, a handle modifier of 1.3, a full tool durability of 909, mining speed of 8, and a mining level of cobalt. So it's quite good uh, for being relatively cheap. And it gives you reinforced two straight off the get-go so i think i'm going to make a hammer out of that but one thing i am going to do is i'm going to make the tool rod out of paper so that is going to decrease a bit of stuff the handle modifier is not going to match i don't think but it is going to give us an extra modifier uh, we don't have enough to go ahead and use alumite to make the tool rod as well Otherwise, we would do that, but it means going and hunting for more stuff. I've got 24 in there. I'm going to make it out of paper and see how it goes. We can always make some better tools later on, but that's really going to help in the mining sort of area. So first things first, we need to make some paper. Now, I thought, thought in my heart of heart that I had some sugar cane. Now, I have a feeling that I am thinking of my sky factory series <laughs> so apologies there team i'm gonna have to cut away real quick and grab some sugar cane or grab some more al aluminium and make a quick bit more alumite so i will be back in a flash okay guys we're back and i've gone ahead and thrown a bunch of stuff into the smeltery it's cooking up so our obsidian's just gone we've got 27 alumite so that is the exact right amount now to make our tinker's hammer so we're not going to worry about our paper modifier we'll just use alumite and see how that goes so for now we need to work on getting a few patterns so we need to start we need a tough rod now that has a material cost of three we need a large plate and the other thing we need is we need a hammer head, which is this guy here, and that also has a material cost of eight. But the thing with the hammer is you need two large plates to make it. So then we can move on to this guy here. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a bunch of cobblestone, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make our stuff. Sorry, we've got that the wrong way around. No, I think we've actually got the wrong thingamajig. So we wanna use this one here like so. So we want a stone hammerhead, we want a, a large plate, and we want a stone tough rod. Now these are going to provide us with the patterns to make these guys. So we need to take them out again, we don't need those patterns in there. Those can now go into the pattern chest, like so and you can actually grab them out from the left hand side i could have thrown them straight back in there now what we want to do is we want to take that we want to throw a bit of gold in there i'm not 100 percent sure how much we're going to need so we're just going to throw a bunch in there and we're going to throw in the hammerhead and then once this gold has melted we can go ahead and we can make a cast and then once the cast is made out of either gold or um what is the other one? It is aluminium brass. Once either, either of those casts are made, you can go ahead and pull your alumite into the cast, and Bob's your uncle, job done. So we need to swap the gold to the bottom, and then we can go ahead and make our cast. Boom, cast made. Whip that out. Now we can go ahead and throw that guy over the edge, because we don't want it. 
So we've got our ingot cast, we've got our hammerhead cast, we need our large plate cast next, like so. A few more. How many ingots did that use? Oh, we've only got one left. And we have run out. So we're going to have to put some more gold in there, which I haven't got on me. We're going to need a buff ton of gold by the looks of it. I wasn't sure if it used the same amount as when you actually make the tool. So I didn't think it did, but we will chuck in another six. That shouldn't take too long to smelt up. And then we will be away laughing. The other thing I sort of want to look at this episode is starting to make something from Applied Energistics 2. I want to make the charger so that we can start making some charged Certus Quartz, which is going to give us the option to make pure Certus Quartz crystals and all those good things so we can start looking to get an Applied Energistics 2 system. Because I really want to make that and get up and running so we have some storage. Oh, it's there, it's done, okay, jolly good. We can throw the stone one over the edge, it just wasn't showing. So we've got that guy. Now all we need is this fella here. Boom, make sure that gold store at the bottom, which it is. I didn't think it used as much as that. So it just wasn't showing, I couldn't see it. That, that, throw this bad boy away. Oh, wrong button, like so. Now. We want to move our molten alumite to the bottom and we will start with our tool rod, tough rod sorry. Pouring away, pouring away, we have our tough rod. That guy, we want to grab our large plate and our hammerhead. So we want a hammerhead. That should leave us with 16. Please leave us with 16. Ah, beautiful. Hammerhead. Boom. And then that guy, we want to do this twice. Beautiful team. Absolutely beautiful. This is going to give us a hammer. So the last thing we need to do is we don't have the available availability to actually put this guy together. We need to go ahead and make a tool station. From Tinker's Construct as well, which requires a butt ton of either steel, um, of either iron or another ore to make. So we're going to do that very, very shortly. We're throw these into here. We want our ingot one to go back down. If we can grab that, throw our ingot one down, and then in here you can see we've still got some gold. We've got some aluminium. We can go ahead and pour those out. And I want to teach you a little trick with doing this as well to make it a little bit easier so that you don't have to stand here and right click this faucet continuously to get all those ingots out. But we'll do that later. We'll make this tool forge and then we will crack on and I'll show you that real quick because it's quite easy. Um, if I have got enough stuff to make a conduit, hmm, I'm not sure. Okay, so we need to make the tool forge. Tool forge this guy here now you can make it from a bunch of things you can make it from gold you can make it from from blue and that is gold you can make it from steel i think you can make it from that's tin so basically whatever we've got the freaking most of and probably going to use the least of which is probably at this stage is probably silver we don't tend to use a lot of silver We've got two different types, which isn't helping, industrial craft and that. Okay, so can we make it from silver? Aluminium, of course we can't, guys. Steel, iron, everything but silver. No real surprises there. Hmm, what is that? Ardite, ooh, that's expensive. Is that silver? tin, aluminium, everything but team, everything freaking but silver, <sighs> diamond, emerald, okay, so we can't use silver, we've got tin, we, we need that tin for making these things, I'm just going to use bloody iron, we've got some iron, I'm just going to use that, so what do we need, we need four blocks of iron and some seared bricks and a tool station. Tool station is that and a blank pattern. So we should be able to do this. So we need four blocks of iron, like so. 
one, two, three, four, like that. We can throw those ones back, like so. And then we need, have we got any wood on us? We have got some wood on us, that is grand. Like that, we have a table there. So we need that, like so. We need to make one of those, one of those. And then we should be able to pinch one of those out of there and make this guy a tool station. And now the only thing we need, which I'm pretty sure I have stored away for a rainy day, is that guy. So we should be able to go boom, 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 and the tool station in the middle, and we have ourselves a tool forge. Great. So now the tool forge I am going to throw right there. Now we have a full system. All we need to do now is we need to go to our hammer, put a large plate, large plate, a tough rod, and a hammer head, and we have the alumite hammer. We can go ahead and we call that Infini Hammer, like so. And boom, we have ourselves a hammer that is going to decimate absolutely decimate a 3 by 3 area. So this thing is a beast. Now it is 8,189 durability, so 10,236 effective durability, and a mining speed of 3.2, mining level of cobalt, and modifiers we have 3 remaining. It's going to do 6 attack damage. So what I'm going to do is we're going to head upstairs. The cool thing about Tinker's Tools is you can add these modifiers. So I've got a butt ton of a redstone here. So I'm going to grab a stack and a bit over a half here. We're going to head back downstairs, make sure our door's shut because we don't want creepers and things sneaking up on us. And we're going to go ahead and make one of these stacks, that's not what I want to do, into some blocks like so. And then we're going to add that and that to the tool forge, like so, and we're going to use up a modifier. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So we should have, if we look at this guy, we should have two modifiers re remaining. We have got 50 out of 50, so our mining speed is now 5.6 instead of 3 point something or other as it was. I'm wondering whether I should use another one. Now what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to put an emerald or a diamond on this bad boy later on to give it a bit more durability. But for now, that is going to do the job. And I think that's where I'm going to leave it for now. We'll make a few more tools later on. It is all pretty and pink, um, but it is going to work and it's going to do a very good job for us down in the mining area. I will show you before the end of the episode. Okay, so next thing's next. We've sort of finished with tinkers for now. I might make a few more tools off camera because not everyone's too excited about watching me make tools and tinkers. Now, the next thing I want to move on to is I have crafted this big room here. Now, I'm wanting this. I'm wanting to have probably somewhere... I'm not sure yet. Maybe, maybe on the wall here I might have my AE panel or I might have it just beside my crafting station just here and then run cables and things through the floor. Oops. But I want this to eventually, in the long run, be my auto crafting area for all of my Applied Energistics 2 system. Um, but that is a long term goal, very very long term, it's going to take me a while to get there, we're going to need a quarry and all sorts of good things before then. But first things first, I do want to get a really really basic AE2 system set up, so I want to make the charger from Applied Energistics 2, this guy here. Now with this guy you can go ahead and you can take your Certus Quartz and you can take your normal Certus Quartz and change it into charged Certus Quartz and then your charged Certus Quartz you can make into all sorts of good things. So what we're going to do is we're going to make some of these guys here, the standard Flux crystals. Now to make those, you take one charged Certus Quartz plus one Nether Quartz and one Redstone Dust into a puddle next to one another and wait a moment to receive two. So we only need two to make the charger and the great thing is we only have two of the charged Certus Quartz. Sorry. So you only need one of these to create two Flux crystals. Now. We only have two of these, so it's a good thing we only need one because I want to keep the other for something else. We need one of those, and we need 
we've got some redstone dust on us, which is great. Now, I'm going to run, uh, I might sleep real quick. And if you heard that, I apologise, team. Sleepy, sleepy. And I'm not going to mention what that was. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, everything's grown as well. We're going to throw right here. We're going to throw that, that, and one of these. Ah, missed. Come on, get out of there. That, that, that. There we go. And that gave us two Floex crystals. Perfect. So now, by rights, we should be able to head in here. And with whatever else we need. So we need just some iron. So if I grab some iron out of this chest, like so. This guy, shift click that in, that gives us a charger from AE2, which is amazing. Now I'm pretty sure that this guy runs without having, that's a shovel Dave, having to have too much power, I think from AE2, I think it just runs from the standard power, do I have conduits or not? I've got some somewhere. So if I just really uglyly, uglyly, good English, poke that guy there, that connects, lovely, and then we should be able to grab a couple of these guys and go like so. And then, with any luck, It should take some time. Come on. It's saying it's getting power. It should be getting power. We're going to wrench on us, we do. So up, in and out, insert. Lovely. Why are you not getting power, my friend? Don't know why that's not working. It should be working. Maybe I need to leave it longer. I'll leave it longer. Okay. But anyway, we've got that working. That should work off of that without having to have any applied energistics to power. I'm sure that should work. I don't know why it wouldn't be working. Other than the fact that that's probably not getting a butt ton of power from there I think that's going we might just take that um, can we take that like so and that there and that there like that because I think that's only getting that one um, RF per tick from the solar panel on the roof that I put up there we might just get that stairs and we'll quickly throw this guy right there now that should be getting plenty of power there. Come on. Why are you not? Ah, there we go. We got one. Lovely. So that gave us a charge service quartz. It's normally a lot faster than. There we go. That's faster. So I don't know why that, that first one took so long. But now it's doing its thing. Lovely. Getting a few more. We'll stop at four and then we will go and carry on. I'll throw one in there just for good measure. Okay, so that's doing its thing. We'll leave it there for the moment because it's not ugly. Now, so we want to look at what else we need to make. So what we need to make is a... Oh, what's it called? It's called the controller. It's called the ME controller. That guy. Now, there's a bit to this guy. So he takes pure Fluix crystals. And for that guy, we need more of these guys. Hmm. And some Sky Stone. I'm going to need to go hunting for some AE2 stuff, probably off camera. Now, with AE2, instead of just finding things in the world and smelting them and making all the processes and things, it's a real pain in the ass, basically. You have to go and hunt out these meteors, and to get these meteors, you have to have a decent hammer or something to get down through them, and you find a chest, and inside those meteors is a um, generally a chest with some presses in it. Now, 
I'm going to look up the compass and we might look at making that this guy here meteorite compass from 82 so it is one piece of charged surface quartz and some iron boom like so now we don't want to make another one like that and those now if we bring that out it's saying there is a meteorite that way so what we might do is we might take a hammer and go and see what we can find drop that off drop those off and drop a bit more stuff into here now we'll get rid of those and those and that should be pretty good take a bit of food some of those and let's go have a look see see what we can find So it is this way. Now this is a real pain. I don't actually like this, um, having to seek out all the, all of these things. I guess it does help you explore the world rather than just staying cooped up in your base and just building stuff for Africa. But I still think the old applied energistics was better in that in that way. But hey, it's still a bit of fun. I don't actually, oh, maybe I do remember passing one, well, okay, so it would be freaking under the water here, wouldn't it, so it's in this chunk, and God knows where it is, but it is down here somewhere, diorite, but I'm going to drown, so we may, unless it's over there, What's in this hole? That is a very deep hole. Which I will probably drown in. Yeah, no, we're going to have to get out of there because we're going to die. We may look at finding another one because that's just going to end badly, very, very badly. Now, the pain in the ass is the fact that that compass is just going to keep spinning and pointing towards that one until we get out of the chunk so supposedly we're s it's in this chunk here so we may be able to find it but it could take a lot of work and I shouldn't be digging straight down oh, see this is just a pain in the ass this is something I'm going to do off camera guys because it really is a pain in the backside I don't enjoy it so I'm going to do that off camera and dig my way out of the bloody hole and worry about that later. What I will do now is swim all the freaking way back over to my base and hmm what the hell oh it's a squid jeez I thought it was some sort of like um, it looked like a dragon or something floating through the sea but it's just a squid with a bloody stupid tiger hat on really need to start working on this railcraft thingy as well. Hmm, how am I going to do a go about this? It's going to be a big old trail to work its way up and around and into my base. I've sort of put a bit of a tunnel through here so that I can run through to the other side. It's pretty basic at this stage, but that's what I can do. I can quickly show you my hammer. So we will... Boom. Bitches. so much nicer so the hammer is pretty freaking epic it just makes things so much nicer for excavating and, and making space in your base it really does we can go ahead and raise the roof like so Boom, 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 oh, it's lovely, it's glorious, absolutely glorious. And 
and we will just tidy up this piece as well. Like that, and then like that, and take that dirt out. Nice. And now we've got a pretty nice little tunnel. We will just tidy up that and that. And I think that, guys, is where I'm going to leave you. I'm going to leave you here. And I'm going to go away and search out some of the goddamn meteors and be prepared next episode for some applied energistics too, or some railcraft. I haven't decided yet. Um, whatever floats my boat on the day. Okay, cheers for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.